We were kind of looking for a few more storylines to the Rocky Mountain Showdown to get us to the game on Saturday. And boy, did we get one today. Coach Jay Norvell takes a shot at Coach Prime. You're going to hear that in a minute. But first, let's kind of take you through uh, how we got here. Let's go back to Monday. Norvell's press conference, and here's what he said about Coach Prime. Deion Sanders has had a lot of public critics. I'm not one of them. Um, I really respect all head coaches and the sacrifices that they've had to make to become head coaches, especially African-American coaches. And so I was happy to see Dion get his opportunity. Um, you know, I had to wait a long time to get mine. All right, all very nice. And then Tuesday at his press conference, notice what Coach Prime was wearing, first of all. And then here are Coach Prime's comments about Norval. What I hear, I haven't met this gentleman, but I hear he's a good, good man. I know he's a great coach. Um, he has those guys playing hard. Um, I, I like that. I like that. I'm glad he said that. I, I like that. Again, all nice and cordial at that point. But as the week went along with all the national attention that Boulder's getting from media and celebrities and ESPN doing interviews with the CSU players and asking them about Prime and CU, by last night, Coach Norvell had had enough here he was talking about Sanders on Norvell's coaches show and the way that Coach Prime dressed for his press conference. And I sat down with the ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. <laughs> so, you know, they're not going to like us no matter what we say or do. It doesn't matter, okay? So let's go up there and play. Well, there you go. The national headlines, Coach Norvell taking a shot at Dion. Just what we all needed to blow this rivalry out of the water. Of course, uh, just what Coach Prime needed to motivate his team today, as if they were lacking any motivation before. All we do is go out here, work our butts up, and do our job on Saturday. But when they give us ammunition, they on Mass Brown made it what? It was just going to be a good game. It was going to be a great test. It's a battle of Colorado, but they mess around and made it personal. They made it personal. I think this was a calculated move by Coach Norvell. Sick and tired of everything being about Coach Prime and CU and the Rams getting zero attention and zero respect on a national level. He just decided to get some attention, move it from CU over to CSU, and he did. Every national sports TV and radio show today was talking about Coach Norvell of CSU. Why did he say that? What is he doing? And now they'll be talked about for the next couple of days, too. Norvell might even get invited on ESPN and Fox and First Take and Pat McAfee show. Exactly what he wanted to accomplish. Now, he also got CU all fired up. And if they were looking past this game ahead to Oregon and USC, not anymore. One thing Norvell knows, though, whatever the coaches say about the game, doesn't matter. The players will decide the outcome. On Saturday night, there ain't nothing Dion can do or I can do to change the game. The kids got to go play. 